it's Cindy and Laura and we're back we're back so today we're going to be talking to all of the PR graduates the ones that recently graduated or are about to graduate about public relations mm -hmm. and I'm sure you're looking for a job if you're out there right mm-hmm mm -hmm. so we're gonna start off um, Cindy and I are actually gonna tell you our stories about because we're actually we both graduated within the last year and we um, we're, we're going to share with you our stories on how we got to where we are because we're at a really great agency mm -hmm. now and a lot of people are scared about graduating right now with the doom and gloom of the economy and it's going to be hard to find jobs. So we're going to talk about our stories and how they might help you. That's right. And first thing first, stay positive. Mm -hmm. Stay positive. Um, well, okay, we'll go through these tips and then we'll talk about how we got here. So yeah, number one, stay positive. Um, just just because it's hard right now, it shouldn't get you down. You know, like, keep keep on keeping on. <laughs> Someone just walked in. Um, the second thing you want to do is be proactive. You always want to be searching for new jobs. Keep on the lookout for anything and everything that you can. That's right. So uh, make sure to follow through. Everything that you do, even if it's online, if it's networking, whatever it is, submitting your resume, whatever connections that you make, make sure to follow through. That's really important. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also really important that you want to build your online presence. Cindy can talk a little bit about that because that's a big reason why she's here at this job right now. Yeah, because of my LinkedIn account. That's how my boss found me and that's why I'm working here. So it's really important to make sure to establish that um, a brand or online presence mm -hmm. and it could be through your LinkedIn account it could be through Twitter Twitter not really necessarily MySpace that's not, not gonna so help MySpace. you at all but um, could be Facebook but it's yeah. really important to establish yourself have a presence you know yeah um, and engage with people exactly and um, even I mean use Google for example just Google your name to see what pops up mm -hmm. see if your name even does pop up if mm -hmm. it doesn't then you need you know that your name isn't out there. Exactly. So, so you got to work on that. So Google our names, Laura Babley, Cindy Oliveira, see what comes up. You know, we have a presence online, and that's really important in helping you find a job. And speaking of having a presence, you also want to network, don't you? That's the next step. That's right. Face-to-face uh, -face interaction, especially when you're looking for a job, is really important. Mm -hmm. Yes, online does help you, but really it comes down to that interview, and it comes down to the people that you know, because you know your the people that are, that are looking for candidates are going to be talking to other people about you exactly. and your work experience. Experience. So it's really important to keep those connections. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So make sure to do that. You also want to remember that no job is too small. Like, if you're straight out of college right now, take any job that you can get. Don't don't be a snob. You know, like what, you need to keep your head high, but also don't think that you're above anything. Like when I first got back from England, I just moved back. Um, there were no jobs, and I was interviewing mm -hmm. at places, but at the same time, I was like, I need to take a job anywhere. So I started working at a daycare. I worked at a daycare for a few months until I got my job here and I was interviewing on the side. I mean, you have to you have to do that. No job is too small. No, and I was actually working at the university where I graduated from right after I graduated. So um, I was working there for a little bit until I found this job and, you know, I'm thankful that I did. So Exactly. So be patient. Be patient. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then you also want to always keep an open dialogue with your peers. You want to be engaging with them. If you're graduating with a class of a lot of PR friends, you want to find out what they're doing. You know, get advice from them. And, and don't, don't hide your thoughts either. Share your experiences with them. Give them advice and they'll do the same for you. That's right. And also with your professors. I mean, they have connections. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, just talk to them about it. If you're having trouble looking for a job or whatever, just talk to them. They might point to the right direction exactly. on what to do. That's why it's really important to keep, keep in contact with those people in your life. That's right. So I hope this was helpful and we shared some of our experiences in there. Um, if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Get at us on Twitter. Um, she's at Cindy Oliveira. I'm at Laura Babley. Um, other than that, we'll see you next time. All right. And Thank you. We'll wrap this up, and tomorrow we'll do a second part to the graduation toolbox. So yeah, we're going to give you some tools and some more advice on on graduating. All right. So thanks. Bye. Bye.